Just got this in. This is the SEMA X8HG. This is the successor to the SEMA X8C quadcopter featuring better brushed motors, a different camera with a GoPro mountable case because you can open this case and you can insert a GoPro. Just remove the clip here and the camera comes right out. I won't remove it for the sake of this video, but yep, you can put a GoPro on this. And finally, last but not least, it has altitude hold. So we're gonna put that to the test today and see how this works. Battery is still your standard Super Tiger connector. Stock battery is 2,000 milliamp hours. And this one I'm using is 2,200 milliamp hours, the Tenergy one. Same one I had with X8C. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that plugged in and ready to go. All right, so let's turn it on now and get it bound. Fine procedure is very similar to all the other SEMA quads. Hold up on the stick and it starts up. And now we're near. So there it is. Let's just test the altitude hold for a minute here. Oh, it's certainly holding its spot. We've got a little bit of wind. It's holding its altitude. It will drift from side to side. Let me just trim a little bit. Well, it's certainly holding its altitude very well, turning around. All right, so now let's turn on the camera. I came in too wide there. The yaw rate is very slow, but that's the same and to be expected. So, so, so now the camera's recording, and unlike the X8C, it's flashing when it's recording, which is nice. You can tell when your camera's on or not. And the camera itself has a little indicator as well. It's flashing red. So you know when you're recording with this one. Alright, we're in the low we're in the low rates at the moment. I'm used to flying this thing in high rates. So let's kick it into gear. Actually, before we do that. Let's just get some shots of me and the landscape here. I'm going to take it as high as I'm comfortable doing so. I did notice that in my first few flights there is some jello in the video and it can be hard to uh, keep the quad in a, in its column, so to speak. Even though it does have the altitude hold, which works very well, you still have to keep it in its spot. There you go, just some footage. All right, so now this is really important, and a lot of people have been having this issue because this is just the way the altitude hold works. You cannot come down full on the throttle. You cannot. Because if you do that and you push this left stick all the way down, it will shut the motors off. So don't do that. Come down light, come down light. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Don't hold it for more than three seconds or you're gonna just crash. Because as I said, when you hold it down, it shuts the motors off. That's its key to shut the motors off. So you hold it up to turn the motors on and down to turn the motors off.
Wow, okay, so what is there to say after something like that? Well, the good news is that it took that beating to the ground and it's intact. The camera's still there, the didn't break, I just tested it. The propellers are fine. Seems pretty good. I do want to take this time to mention that these motor screws are at risk of coming out sometimes and I had this same problem with the X8C so I put some medium thread locker Loctite you can get it at any hardware store Walmart whatever and during impact with X8C uh, these have come out but this time they didn't come out they're nice and locked in place and the reason you don't want that is because the screw can come out get in the gear get in the board whatever so I'm glad to see that my thread locker is working it's keeping it nice in place um, so let's go ahead and turn on the quad now uh, I could have chose not to put that in the video but I'm I do honest reviews so that's what happened it is what it is let's just roll with this and get some more footage so you guys can see how it is and you guys can also see that it still works all right turning on the footage now I guess so that means when you're letting it down basically you have to be extremely careful maybe drop it a little bit then wait 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 drop a little bit then wait and so on and so forth that may be the best strategy until if and when perhaps SEMA fixes the problem or if they even consider it a problem let's go into high rates let's do another flip because I need to have some fun after that crash I was very disappointed I don't have the vortex ring syndrome with this quad as much as the uh, X8C because of the powerful brush, uh, br yeah, brushed motors. And definitely an improvement over the X8C. When I crashed, the camera came out of the quad and I tried to recover the video from the camera and I was not, I was only half successful. I did find an application online that allowed me to recover part of it. So I will have a link for you in the description below for those of you who may have a crash with their, this kind of camera and want to recover your video. I was able to recover part of it. That's how I was able to show you some of the video um, in the previous run a 
it's actually not too difficult to recover the uh, MOV files on the SD card provided by SEMA. Some nice steady shots. There I am. And there's our dog. Don't want to get close to her. But there's dog. All right, well, now I'm going to land. And this essentially concludes the review. Thumbs up for durability. Thumbs up for a better camera. Thumbs up for better br uh, brushed motors that don't get burning hot to the touch. Thumbs down for the altitude hold being finicky and having to be extremely careful with the throttle or else you will fall out of the sky. And that's about it. That's the SEMA XAHG. Don't forget Loctite on the screws. And let me know if you have any questions and have a good day.